this week's freestyle Friday video, I'm going to attempt, I'm going to show you guys how to make a hot cheeto fried lobster tail. I tried to make this before, but, um, I don't know, the way I tried to make it, it didn't come out right, so I'm trying it again today, and hopefully it comes out right. So, I just got one lobster tail, um, it was $18.99 from Acme, um, and I had it thrown out in the fridge in this thing here. So, you take your lapses out first. Okay, so we're going to take it off the shelf. Last time I did it, I didn't take it off the shelf. So, this time I'm going to actually take it off the shelf. 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 I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to take it off the shelf. So, just get some scissors. Um, and I am going to cut it inside. Put the inside of it. Go in the middle. And then I'm going to open them up. Like However, you deshell your lobster tail, that's how you do it. This is the easiest way for me. Okay. Once you crack that open, then I go in to this part and I pull it out. Turn it around. Oh, it's a nice. Thick one too. This would have been real good in the shell, but so then once you get your lobster tail out, you make sure it's nice and clean. So you make sure it's nice and clean. So I'm gonna take this over there and I wanna rinse it. Okay, so once you rinse off your lobster tail, because I got food poisoning, even though you should rinse it off regardless, but I got food poisoning. I'm thinking I'm gonna take this like, scale up. I think I'm going to leave it because I don't want it to come apart. So once you do that, you're going to season it. I'm just using a little bit of seasoning salt. Because you're going to have Cheeto fry, but you still want your bite that you bite into to be flavorful. So this is garlic powder. Um, this is onion powder. I use the same seasoning for everything. And then regular black pepper. And then this one is black edge. And then you also season the other side because... It is a thick piece of lobster. So you really want those flavors to get in. And you're going to boil it for a little bit too. So black pepper. And then you're going to slice that into it. Add some nice and spicy. For some reason I don't think that this I learned this from a YouTuber named Sharika. She sticks like chopsticks or um, what do they call it? Um, pincho stick. Um, shish kebab sticks. So like, you know the stick that you grill on. Through the lobster tail so it keeps it. Because you know what lobster tails, they, they shrivel up like that. Which would be hard for me to fry. So I need it to stay kind of long. So I'm going to stick this stick right through it. And hopefully it don't shrivel on the stick like that. I'm just gonna go to the skin. I really get through the body of it so it can really like on the stick. And then I'm gonna boil it in the water like that. So let's get our water together. Okay, so now we have our water and I season my water too. So first thing I'm gonna do Take a little bit of margarine or butter, whatever you choose, and I like to pull you in there because, yeah, just to get more flavor to it. And then I also season the water because it's water and your food is going to be boiling in it. And once I take it out of the water, I still want it to, I want the flavor to still be like in it. Although I did season the thing, but you know, you can never season it too much. Well, you can, but. <laughs> All right. 
So then once the water comes to a boil, then we will add the lobster tail. So BRB. And I seasoned the water with the same seasonings I seasoned the um, lobster tail with. I would have used Obey rather than um, Laurie's seasoning salt, but I don't have any more Obey. I made a butter sauce recently, so yeah. So once the water is to a boil, um, then um, I will add the lobster tail and I'll show you guys that. BRB. Actually, while the water is boiling, let's do our hot Cheeto dust. So I had uh, two bags of hot Cheetos delivered from DoorDash. Um, I think I think one will be enough, even though it's, it's kind of little. I think one should be good. So I want to see if one is enough. Delighted. I'm using this Ninja, and I just got some more bags of. Oh no. Because I'm only doing one lobster tail, but I like mine to be nice and yummy. Yeah, these are the little bags. I couldn't, I didn't know the size of the little bags, but these are the little bags. Maybe I'll just pair. I don't even like that much. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. it's done we're going to go over to the lighting part to a lighter part, so the lighting part. and let me get a little If you wash your blender, make sure that it's really, really dry because you don't want the dust to be wet. Alright, so that actually did make a good amount of dust. Seal that. I probably just could have used the one bag. You never know, and it's better to be safe than sorry. So, whatever. I don't have nothing else to hot cheeto fry because I made hot cheeto fried king crabs the other day and my working at Lobster Tail that same day. And yeah, so I don't have anything else to hot cheeto fry because I already did. But hot cheeto fry sauce is so good. And then we made chicken yesterday. Um, we didn't make chicken yesterday. So, now it looks like the water has come to a boil. Now it doesn't have to be like a like boiling out the pot type of boil. You just want the water to be heated up. And okay, so now we're gonna take our lobster tail and place it in the boiling water and that's literally going to be in there for like three to five minutes at the most because 
we're gonna cook it in the air fryer so okay guys so i told you guys i made a lot of dust so the the lobster tail is done well not all the way done but it's like mostly done um so yeah and i told you guys i made a lot of dust so mike is eating chinese food for dinner i got a shrimp roll too because it's obviously not enough food for me i'm just doing this for the sake of this video so i'm going to try to hot cheeto fry already fried chinese store chicken and see how it comes out as well <laughs> so we have to do our egg wash so i got two eggs out but i think one egg is going to be good That's, like i said it's really not a lot of stuff but i feel like because this, yeah, I'm gonna do two eggs. I feel like because um, this stuff is already like fried, I might need a little something for the hot Cheeto to like cook it on. I'm really hoping this comes out right, guys. It looks like a nasty snow day, so my hunger. Is up there. All right. So that's that. All right. So you go into the egg wash first. See? Right, put it in there. And then you go into the hot cheeto. Really put that on there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Better than the last time I did it. But if not, I am gonna be lit. Alright, now we gotta hurry up and put this in the air fryer. Alright, let's try this chicken. A lot of people's problem when they have cheeto fried their chicken, it doesn't cook all the way through. Um, but maybe try baking it or even like it just works out frying it before and then putting the hot cheeto that's on it. Of course with the egg. But the egg's gonna cook in the air fryer. And last but not least. Mike, uh, I told Mike I was gonna try it. He's probably gonna be doing this a lot then. <laughs> if y'all like this, this is probably how I would do it. Cause I don't always wanna have Cheeto fry, you know, king crab and shrimp and stuff. I mean I do, but sometimes they don't be having the right parts of the king crab. Like like the last time I pissed off my pay fifty dollars for these pieces of king crab that were not right. Alright. Boom, that's key. I need to wash my hands before I do anything else. Okay. Let's do this. Alright. So everything's in the air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, get your air fryer. Period. So turn it on. So it's on 360 for 15 minutes. I think that's good. So let's just put that on in there. Because you don't read the temperature. I usually do 370 or 380 for like 18, 19 minutes. And that's for the raw, um, the raw shrimp and the raw king crab so this stuff is already cooked so i think 15 minutes on a lower degree will be fine all right now i need to clean all this shit up <laughs> okay guys so we have the chicken and then the lobster tail and it all looks really really good I'm going to see how this tastes. But first, I want to show you guys how I make my cheese. That's what I'm making. So, I 
I usually like the Tostitos queso, but this is queso blanco. Um, it tastes different. Don't taste bad, but it tastes different. And then Mike couldn't couldn't find the orange Tostitos, so he got me the hers con queso salsa. Not horrible, but it's not Tostitos queso regular. So I mixed them two together, and it actually does not taste bad. Like you can even still see how it goes. So I just did like that. See, I think Tostitos is just like a better brand than the hers. Like the cheese just tastes better. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm just going with that. Do it again. And then once it's mixed together, I put it in the microwave for like a minute and 20 seconds because it takes so much time to heat it up. I got two shrimp rolls. So, uh -huh. mm. I don't think I'm gonna eat two shrimp rolls now. Well, these are like chunky shrimp rolls. I should put, I'm put this in the air fryer for a little bit. And here is the full plate of food with the cheese, the shrimp roll, the sauces, and the meats. Yum! Okay guys, so the lobster tail is still in no pie. I tried it twice. The first time I thought it wasn't done all the way. This time you guys can see that it is very well done. It just doesn't go well with the hot cheeto to me. I like the taste of it, so... Mike's probably going to eat that because he don't like such little ways, but I tried. I, I even got a knife, cut it in half, sliced it, but it wasn't for me. But the chicken, that is my new favorite thing now. I'm going to order chicken wings from the Chevy store. Hot Cheeto fry them with the cheese. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. Can you put my, um, my other shrimp roll in the air fryer for one minute? Thank you. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this week's Freestyle Friday. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.